My name is Chris. I'm a security guard for TC Williams, and you're watching Everyday Titans. An era is coming to a close. Freedom is nearly at hand. Well, freedom from having to shamelessly embarrass ourselves in front of 4,000 people on a daily basis, that is. That's one way to put it. Times. I'm Eddie Kaiser and I'm Angelina Hunts and this is Everyday Time. Today is Tuesday, October 30th and our time as hosts and our time creating the show for you is coming to a close. It is and I have to say I might just enjoy having the pressure taken off me. I'll miss it. The spotlight, the bad puns, the endless stream of complaints I barely got a chance to really bask in. Not to mention we'll have to shut you and Gab down after the show. What? I'm sorry Eddie, I didn't hear you. Um, I didn't say anything, uh, but I think you have some announcements. Oh, right. Let's just get into the announcements. Are you interested in STEM fields? Do you want to make connections with STEM professionals in our area and attend STEM-related events? Come to the Women in STEM Club Interest Meeting on November 13th in A325. The next meeting of the National Society of Black Engineers Junior will be tomorrow, October 31st at the King Street Campus, room B127 at 3.30 p.m. Come join the fun as they have a spooktacular meeting with costumes and candy treats. Calling all you overachieving underclassmen. Are you interested in attending the Virginia Governor School summer residential programs for academies, Japanese, academics, Japanese, Latin, and visual slash performing arts? If so, please attend the information ses sessions in the College and Career Center during all lunches or after school today. See Ms. Hahn in room A119 or your academy counselor for more info. Come join the Young Life meeting in the International Academy today, October 30th, in room A302. There will be an exciting talk, food, fun, and games with friends. All you are welcome. You don't want to miss it. The Bible Study Club will be studying after school tomorrow, October 31st, in room B220. Join them to gain a deeper understanding of the Bible. All are welcome, non-believers or believers. El grupo de estudio bíblico se quedará después de la escuela mañana en el salón B220. Únete a ellos para juntos obtener una comprensión más profunda de la Biblia. Todos son bienvenidos, creyente o no. A couple of weeks ago, on October 4th, the TC Varsity Volleyball team dedicated their game in support of breast cancer awareness. Entitled Dig Pink, people and players wore pink to show their support for cancer research. The TV media production students were in the field to give us the scoop on what was going on. Hello Titans, I'm Karina Solorzano reporting from this year's Dig Pink Volleyball Game for Breast Cancer Awareness. The TC Varsity Volleyball team is showing their support for breast cancer awareness by wearing pink. Let's see what they have in store for us. Why is supporting breast cancer awareness an important cause? Um, I think it's important because everyone should be aware of something that like affects so many people like in so many ways. Breast cancer is obviously very widespread and there is no known cure for it yet, so it's very important to help fund the research to help cure it. This is a fun game for a good cause. Now let's talk to some of the spectators. How did you hear about this event? Uh, everyone told me come out because it's Dig Pink Night. My boys. I saw the TC Titans wearing the cancer uh, awareness shirts.
Uh, it's really important because breast cancer is you know, such a big problem and anything that we can do to aid finding a cure and raising money for any uh, kind of support or research is really important. Breast cancer is a major thing in the U.S. that's been going on and more women need to be aware of what's actually going on. And you are strong! Glad I got to show my support for a good cause today with our Titan volleyball game, Dig Pink. Once again, I'm Karina Solorzano together with Nayelis Castillo for Everyday Titan. Dig Pink! Dig Pink! Pink! Dig Pink! Dig Pink! Thanks to Advanced TV Production 2 students, Karina S. and Nayelis Castillo for giving us the lowdown. Latin Club is having a pinata raffle. Candy will be provided for winners. Find them in the cafeteria under the stairs at most lunches or in trailer F904 before or after school to buy your tickets. Sales end on Halloween. The homecoming dance will be this Saturday, November 3rd from 8 to 11 p.m. Tickets are on sale for any and all times in the ticket booth next to the auditorium. The class of 2021 will be selling boutonnieres and corsages made by Conklin's Florist for the upcoming homecoming dance. Orders and payments must be made by today by 3.30 p.m. in Ms. Gaffney's B335 or Ms. Thorne's B223. You can pick up your items at the homecoming football game on November 3rd at 2 p.m. Go to the link below to fill out the order form. The T.C. Williams Drama Department is having a fundraiser at May Girls today from 6 to 9 p.m. Please support the drama department alongside the student leadership, cast, and crew of the fall play, Noises Off, including our favorite former host, Pete Peterson, and our not-so-favorite current producer, Ahmed Adelwa. Come stop by Batman's first meeting in room B104 today after school to play a couple of rounds. We're moving on with Spirit Week festivities, Titans. It's Twin Tuesday, and as you can see, me and Lena look pretty much identical today. Give or take a few mustache hairs. Dude, I told you, I shaved. I don't know why you guys keep making that joke. Anyways, tomorrow is Hollow Wednesday, so that means it's time to bring out your Halloween costumes for the day. Be sure to send Everyday Titan your awesome ensembles for every day of Spirit Week. Thanks to TV Production 2 student Iris Sawecki for the awesome graphic. Now, let's see what's happening today with TC Sports. So, here we are. We only have one more show to go. Be sure to remind everyone to tune in tomorrow. Your friends, teachers, comrades, the people you meet on the street, the people you meet in the washroom at Target. Everyone because it'll be a bash. A monster bash, if you will. Now, if you thought that joke was terrible, you'll be quite tickled and touched to know that tomorrow's show will be full of jokes just as wonderfully cringy. Although, I guess that's nothing compared to what you guys have been putting up with for, I guess, over a year now? So never mind. True. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow, Titans, for our final show. It brings a tear to my eye. No, wait, it's just an eyelash. Never mind, guys. False alarm. Mm -hmm.